Hi everyone. So I wanted to, uh, so I wanted to say hello. Uh, I am very behind on my vlogging as most of you know. And so, uh, this video that you're about to see was filmed a couple of months ago, I think. And what happened was, you see what happened was I was in Alabama and I got a pet sitting job in Austin, Texas. So I decided to go back to Texas. And so I stayed there for a few weeks and then went back up to North Texas to spend time with family and get some work done. And you know, during that time, as you know, Eric and I got back together and I went to go see him. And so uh, I wanted to let you guys know what was going on and what's going to happen in the future. I did purchase a thousand trails camping pass so that Eric and I can travel together. And I, w I wanted to say thank you for the kind words that I've received recently. Um, I really appreciate it. And I'm, I'm very glad that I have a large group of supporters. That means a lot to me. Um, and I also want to say thank you for continuing to watch, even though I'm putting out like a video very rarely. And I know I've said this like a million times before, but I promise that I'm going to try harder to film more, to put more content out and to upload on a more regular basis. Um, so thank you for being patient with me. And I know that uh, there's going to be some changes and I'm excited about those changes. So stick around and, um, going to be fun times ahead. Lots of adventures with my sweetheart. Um, and, oh, Drezzy is fine. Um, he's actually got a vet appointment tomorrow and he's going to get a checkup. So he's doing well. And let's see what else. So, oh, in this video that you're about to see, is you know it's behind i am behind on my vlogging but i just wanted to put that out there give you guys an update and hope you guys still enjoy my vlogs and again thank you so much for watching and i will see you hopefully very very soon um from where Ooh, it's gonna be a mystery <laughs> not really bye well waking up this morning and there's fog over the river. Wow. Cool. Do you want to come inside? <laughs> He's shivering. It's in the 40s. Upper 40s. It's really not that cold. Are you okay, buddy? Well, that's interesting. Sounds like he's got some wild dogs or coyotes in that, in the back of his truck, in the cages. Huh. You see how he's shivering? <laughs> you want to go back to Mexico? <laughs> You're so cute. Buddy, do you want to go inside? Drezzy. <laughs> okay. Drezzy, you want to go rock climbing? <laughs> Like, uh, not particularly think so. <laughs> Listen to the birds. Wow. There's birds everywhere here. I love it. No, you done with rock climbing? Look at you off leash like a big boy. Yeah. No, we can't go down there, baby. No, we can't. Here, come here. Let's go this way. He always wants to go where you're not supposed to go. Or he likes to walk in the street. <laughs> so good in here. So I just did some four slices of thick cut bacon that I'm going to add to my Brussels sprouts. I'm waiting for those to soften up. And I might 
throw in some pecans. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, well, there's the finished product. Looks pretty good, huh? Look at all the birds, buddy. It's like, man, if I was 10 years younger. <laughs> What'd you think, bud? There's ladybugs all over my van. Some of them even got inside. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Cutest infestation ever. It's a mating season or what? This convenience store had shoes for sale in it. I kid you not. <laughs> like tennis shoes, work boots. That's a new one. Never seen that before. Well, I'm back on the road headed southwest to Texas. Back to Texas, that's right. I have a house sit in Austin. I need to be at, at the end of the month. And then I gotta get my van inspected. The inspection is out in December. Look at these puppies. That's their house right there. Yes, we have our own house. We're spoiled. Yes, we are. That's Missy. And then there's Max. Hi, guys. You guys want to come in? You smell bacon, don't you? Oh, my goodness. I know. Oh, I have this one. Awesome. <laughs> um, they have a lot of books from the 60s. I like old school paperbacks and just I wish I could just stay here and read <laughs> but I can't because I have things to do and one of those things to do is go get Edna serviced so I have to go to the post office for the homeowners um, I'm here for over two weeks so I gotta go check their mail for them. And then I'm going to swing by this place in Andre's Automotive. I'm going to go by there and ask them if they can service my van. Do I need to order the airbag kit? Or do they wanna handle it? Wish me luck on that. But there she is. And once I get my airbags fixed, I will feel a lot better driving it because right now it is miserable. I can't get my air shocks to make a difference. My airbags will not inflate at all. So every time I hit a pebble in the road, I feel it. And then because it sends my van up a few feet in the air, it seems, and my springs need to be replaced. I, um, you guys remember my, uh, my issue with my bathroom door? Well, because it's been going crazy, my bathroom door is about to fall off its hinges because it's, it was already on there hanging by a thread. So I need to get that fixed eventually, but first things first, I have to get my airbags fixed and that's just all there is to it. Austin music on the radio is so much better than anywhere else in the country. Uh, KUTX. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this station. Well, that's a nice RV. Okay, so 
I'm here at Bucky's, and a few people not from Texas have never experienced it. You should check it out if you're ever in the area. I won't ruin it for you, but I will tell you what I got. I got <laughs> dill pickle pork rinds. Don't judge me. I love dill pickles, okay? And I got sausage on a stick. I know. How am I going to eat this without y'all making fun of me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Check it out. I need some mustard. Mmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to go home and finish this because I bought a container of water burger mustard. Why? Because it's hella good. That's why. And it was only two bucks at H-E-B. This is the biggest bag they had. Ooh, these are good. Mmm. Really, Justin? I mean, really. This whole entire porch, and you gotta get wrapped up on that. But like, really? What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Do you have anything to say? Not a word? Are you stuck? Are you not going to talk to me? Hello? <laughs> you are a piece of work. There. Because he loves to stand in the middle of the road, doesn't he? Yep, it's one of your favorite pastimes. Yeah, I know. Well, here goes nothing. The skillet's been heating, it's smoking, so I'm going to add my ribeye steak. Guys, I haven't done this in, I don't know how long. Okay, sizzle, that's good. Okay, that was stressful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I messed up. And I couldn't find the meat thermometer, so I don't know. I could only go by the pinkness in the middle. Um, I was going for a medium rare. We'll see. So there it is. But I'm going to open a bottle of red wine and enjoy this steak the right way. Gotta take a picture of it first. It didn't happen unless you take a picture of it, right? Not bad, actually. I, let the, I, I pat them dry and then I let them rest with some Himalayan pink salt, sea salt. Um, so I let them sit there for 30 minutes. Heated the pan up really well and seared it just a bit on the outside. I could use a little bit more searing, but um, yeah, this is really good. Guys, don't make fun of me. I don't know how to cook meat. I haven't cooked meat in so long. I'm a recovering vegetarian, you remember? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, food I really like. <laughs> You're so cute. Well, hello. This is Shop Kitty. Yeah, what's her name? Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty? Yes. Well, that's original. I don't know, don't. Look at these doggies in here. <laughs> Hi. So yeah, I'm back here at the shop getting my airbags done. And they just won't hold air, so hopefully we can get this fixed soon. Oh, aren't you cute? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> She looks like my cat Mystic that I had, who passed away in 2013. Yeah, there's a sweet girl. Oh my goodness. Ow, ow. <laughs> you wanna play? You wanna play? Yeah? Oh, she's feisty. Yeah, she's funky. 
So I ended up not replacing my airbags. We just replaced the airline, the tubing, and the fittings, and that seemed to do the trick. It wasn't holding air for some reason, and now they are, after two trips back to the shop, they're holding air, the van is riding much smoother, so good deal. Um, I had a great time at my pet sit, uh, and I want to say thank you to my new friends, Bev and Joe, if you're watching. Hi! Um, I had a great time with them. I got to spend a lot of time with them because they let me stay, graciously, let me stay with them a little longer than anticipated waiting for the van repairs. So thank you guys so much. I also want to thank you for the beautiful watercolor that you got me from Spain. I still need to get it laminated so I can hang it in the van, but thank you so much. And that's going to do it for this video. Again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Bye.